The whole idea of self-care is everywhere. It's from things like, oh yeah, take a bath, use a bath bomb, like take out the nice candles to like, hey, make sure that you like take a break from your work and you're not burning yourself out. So this is very, very important, especially if you're in a mindset where you're like, no, I cannot possibly stop working. I must keep going. I must be miserable. Ultimately though, once you get past that point, it's not as difficult. Like if you're at a point where you're willing to take time off for yourself, it's not exactly a challenge to, you know, go and get your nails done or something. So then it becomes really easy, especially in internet spaces where you can show pictures of like people relaxing and being happy and woo, yay, to really overemphasize that aspect of self-care as being like the entirety of self-care. There are some elements of self-care that are hard to do but still super important. Start with the basics. Self-care is taking care of yourself. Sometimes you just gotta imagine you're in The Sims, and you gotta make sure that food bar is all the way full. Eat three full meals, take a shower, sleep, get social time and time to yourself. Take your meds! Self-care also requires balancing times, which means saying no to some things, but it also means saying yes to some things. So like genuinely think about your future self, like will I have the like energy and the capacity and the time to be able to be involved in this activity? How is it helping my sense of self? How is it helping my like time with people? Is this something that's really important to me? How does this fit into like what I want to do? And if the answer leads you to something like, uh, not really, but I feel obligated to do it, then start learning the process of saying no to things graciously. How Do Adult has a really good video on that topic that I'm gonna link to here. Self-care is also doing administrative tasks. My least favorite thing, uh. So like budgeting, RSVPing, texting people back, checking your email, cleaning your room. It's those like pesky annoying things that will fester in your brain unless you do something about them. My dad always taught me the two minute rule. If you can do it in fewer than two minutes, don't put it on your to-do list, just do it now. Because then you just get it out of your way, it's not on your to-do list, it's not in your head, it's just done. For things that it takes very little effort to do but there are big consequences if you do them too late or not at all, you definitely want to get them done early. I have learned this the hard way. Another important part of self-care, if there are things you know you won't do in the future, make it so that you have to do them. Like if you're introverted and your natural tendency is like, I will be alone and I will watch this TV show and I will be happy by myself. That's great, please do that, please be happy, but also make sure that you are getting like important time with other people and have like friendships that will support you. I am definitely that way, especially when I'm depressed and I'm just like, I don't wanna leave this house ever. Talking with someone sounds not fun. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do anything, blah. Talking to people, even if it doesn't like feel fun in the moment, like is something that you need to do. So for example, I had this Bible study that I would like skip when I was not feeling life at the moment. One of my very good friends was in it and so it made it so that I saw her less and then of course was like less involved and then felt bad about skipping things and it was just like bad endless cycle. I said, oh, like every week before we go to Bible study, why don't you like come over to my apartment and then I'll make you dinner and we'll like chat and have a good time. And it was really great and it was like super fun and good for like months of September and October. We like had fun, I learned to cook things, it made me keep my house clean. But then like once like November, December hit where like the sun goes away and everything is dark and desolate, I was like, I don't wanna go to Bible study this week. I couldn't just like cancel on the person I had said would make dinner for, but then like once that got rolling, it was like, oh yes, I like this person. She is great to hang out with and I love her very much. Wow, things are more okay than they were when I was hiding under a blanket. And it wasn't always that way. Sometimes I was like, oh, I wish I had never agreed to do this. I should have stayed home. I don't know why I'm talking to anybody at all. It's kind of like global temperatures. Like there are like fluctuations and ups and downs in between, but there is like an overall trend and that's what you want to go for. Except not like global temperatures and that you want it to get better and not worse. That was a bad metaphor. And you may have the opposite thing. If you're an extrovert, you may want to be like, yes, I would like to be with people. This is very good. I need this. And then you might struggle to to say no to things and say like, oh, I'm not going to go to this get together, this party or spend time with so-and-so. I'm going to like sit here and read a book instead because everyone needs a balance of both. Everyone needs a balance of both. And don't just like do that every once in a while. Set up a pattern. So like watch the same TV show every Thursday night or something like have a date night with yourself. One of the best things I have ever done. Something I did throughout the eighth season of Doctor Who was I would go to this sushi place that was like within walking distance. I would order there. While they were making it, I would sit and read a book. Then I would bring it back, walk back to my dorm, and then just like sit in bed 
and eat sushi and watch Doctor Who. Doctor Who she. Ayy! <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I'm getting distracted. The point is, put structures in place that will force you to do things that are good for you. Other people can be really helpful in keeping you accountable. So like, study together, clean together, Skype together, like have a set thing that you feel like some small obligation of like, oh, I should probably do this. You should set it up when it's easy to do because it won't always be easy. Like me and my friend with dinner. I knew that that depression would hit in the winter, so I set it up so that I was set for when it happened. A lot of self-care is about systems. Patterns are really helpful for some people and habits are really helpful. Spontaneity is really helpful for other people, but I would encourage you to like have some sort of written, like this is what I want to do and this is how I'm going to take care of myself. Like you can set things up so that you are taken care of. You can like make a support system of saying like, hey, if I'm acting this way, this is a helpful way to respond. I have been blessed with wonderful family and friends who I can just like call if I need to, but also who I can say, hey, if I'm acting this way, it means this for me. And so it would be really helpful if you could like not frame it in this way, if you could talk to me about these things, if you could like ask before you touch me, like anything like that, that people might not assume. It takes a lot of like self-knowledge, but like self-knowledge, self-care, self-actualization, like all these things are so good, but you can't just like sit in a room and do them alone. You have to get other people on your team. The team with the point of like building one another up and making sure that you're communicating well and being loving. There was a time when I would have probably dropped out of school had it not been for like the overwhelming like checking in and calling and support and like making food because I was too depressed to make myself food. So my mom sent me like this giant thing of Tupperwares filled with frozen food. So I had people who would reach out and initiate with me, but then I also initiated with people. Like I had people call me to make sure that I was getting out of bed at a reasonable hour in the morning. That was self-care at the point when I couldn't do a lot for myself. And so you are so important and need to be taken care of. So like set these things up for yourself and ask people you know and love what you can do specifically to help them. Man, we are all trying super hard, but life is tough. <laughs> Sometimes you hate everything or you think, oh, if I just work really hard, I will be okay and I'm smart enough to do this and I don't need to sleep or anything, but like, Listen, you are like a complex being with like lots of different needs that need to be met. And sometimes you need to work really hard to make sure those things are met for you. And you need to bring other people along with you. If you don't have people, then part of your self care can be like finding those people. And yes, there is room to go to the spa or take a bath or do those kind of like floofy fun, good self care things. Cause there is space for all of that because you need all of that. You and your health and your well-being and your mental health are far more important than, than you probably can imagine. And they enable you to do the other things that you also find important. Get that ball rolling. It's a process, but you can do it. Ugh. Dang, nab it. Caffeine's kicking in now. If you can do it in two minutes or less, fewer. Uh, when you haven't taken a shower, you're gross and you feel unhappy. If you hadn't eaten enough food, you're gross. Wait, I don't wanna go this week. I don't wanna talk to people. I just wanna stay home and think about how miserable I am. Ah, uh, what? There's a bird that wants to get in this house and I'm very worried about this bird. I also have eat good and therapy. Two good pieces of advice. <laughs> I have li Moop, don't go that far. I recently, I'm not gonna, well. But like ultimately what, ultimately what you get, ultimately what you get, once you get, once you get. Under creativity, I have vlogs, poetry, question mark, question mark, and do your best. If I unplug that refrigerator, I'll never plug it back in. This happens every time. This is why I need to use a mic. Okay. Ah, <coughs> uh, yes. I don't have time, I need to get to class. Fuck!